I thought we should revisit just to remind a few of you that you're a bunch of pussies. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words. I trust actions. I don't care what you heard. I'm not slacking. So one of the very first videos I did was me driving along screaming into a phone about the FFMI, the Fat Free Mass Index. It's based on a study done in 1995 by Corey, Pope, Katz, and Oliver. The abstract reads, we calculated fat-free mass index, FFMI, in a sample of 157 male athletes, compromising 83 users of anabolic androgenic steroids and 74 non-users. 74 non-users. Out of the 72 million people that lift weights, 74 non-users. Fucking bullshit. It's defined by your fat-free mass in kilograms over uh, times your height in meters minus two. Then they did a correction for of 6.3 times 1.8 uh, meters minus height to normalize them to a 1.8 meter man. Now, basically, they're trying to prove what the maximum capability would be for uh, the, a natural athlete. And the sample group is very fucking small. No, not touching that, but they're not listing off any other factors like the person's age, the person's body frame. For instance, if I'm 5'10", that doesn't mean I have, I'm have i going to have the same fat-free mass index or the same natural capabilities as somebody else that's 5'10", that has more narrow shoulders than me, that has shorter collarbones, that has uh, a larger bone density, that has bigger bones than I do. It, there's too many other factors that it just doesn't conclude to. Now, what it does say is the normalized FFMI values of athletes who had not used steroids extended well up to a defined limit of 25. Similarly, a sample of 20 Mr. America winners, 20 Mr. America winners from the pre-steroid era of 1939 and 1959. You see, they had to do this because they realized their sample group was so small. So what they did is they went back and they took people that they can assume did not use steroids. Because even though they have 74 people that claim they didn't use steroids, that doesn't mean anything because they said they even had some world record strength athletes or like that. However, there's many uh, anabolic compounds that increase strength without actually increasing size. So they took these winners, Mr. Mr. Merrick winners from 1939 to 1959, for whom we've estimated a normalized FFMI had a mean FFMI of 25.4. Now here's where the first contradiction happens, and it happens in the study's own abstract, and yet people still use it as if it's a qualified study. They're comparing the average, the mean, of these Mr. America winners to the defined maximum limit of their study components. Basically, they're comparing a maximum to an average because the average actually proves the maximum wrong that they're talking about. The mean is taken from some of these people, and I'm going to show this chart of them right here. A lot of these people had FFMIs, and these are guesstimates. They're literally fucking guesstimates because they don't have these people there to measure their body fat, to measure even their height, their weight all that shit. They're just taking what people say. But then again, they're taking what people say about not using steroids or actually using steroids. So realistically, they're just guesstimating at these Mr. America winners, but yet they guesstimate that many of them have FFMIs well above the defined limit of 25, which they're trying to say is the well-defined limit. You can't have a well-defined limit and then provide evidence right afterwards that blows the defined limit away. It's a fucking shit-ass study. It's a punk-ass bitch of a study that shouldn't be fucking used by people. But yet, these motherfuckers all have used this study, including this one, which I was a little surprised, have all used this study. Now, this bitch, this bitch I knew would use this study because anything to make his ass feel better while he's sitting his fat ass in that fucking chair, I knew he'd fucking use it. And he has. That's the fake Natty series. That was one of my first videos, too. You should check it out. But all these bitches... Prove that they're fucking punk made, that they're bitch made, because they have to use this bullshit study. This study is fucking weak sauce. It's weak as fucking shit. But yet they're going to use this study to discredit people, no matter who the fuck they are. Now I'm not saying that many of the people that are named in some of these little videos that they do, like who's natty or not, or blah blah blah, all that bullshit. I'm not saying that some of them that claim to be natural aren't actually using. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is you can't use this fucking study as the fucking basis of it. You just fucking can't. It's bullshit. The, the study's bullshit, and if you use it as the basis of your study, it's bullshit too. I'm just doing this real quick because I still see people using the FFMI as a way to discredit other people 
and basically say, well, of course they look great because they're a steroid user, because their FFMI is over this. There's so many other variables that aren't taken into consideration. If the test is accurate, like none of these people are DEXA scanned, none of them. So you don't really know what their, their actual body fat percentage is. How people lose weight, because a lot of these people were at 20% body fat, they weren't actually at the 10%. So when they, when they cut down, how much muscle weight do they actually lose? Would they actually be over 25? Like the length of their bones. I mentioned this earlier. If two people have different lengths of their collarbones, they're going to hold a different muscle mass. They just are. Uh, then they're not going to be the same. Age falls into it also. Uh, it's not just height, because just because you're the same height as somebody doesn't mean you have the same skeletal build, structural build at all. Uh, but yet this weak ass fucking study that all these bitches use goes with it. So what I am saying is just because a study says something, make sure you fucking read it. Because again, first of all, 74 non-users, there's 74 non-using steroid people at my fucking gym. I mean, there's 72 million people estimated by the CDC that lift weights and they're going to use 74 non-users. It's just fucking bullshit, people. And it's taken to be so literal by these folks. It's literally taken to be so literal. And it is a non-defendable accusation. If somebody says you're on steroids, it is almost impossible to prove you're not. Because if you take a steroid test, if you take a drug test, they can say, well, you're just not on steroids right now. If you take a polygraph, they'll say you can beat the polygraph because other people have. It's bullshit. It's a non-defendable argument. You can't you you say it to somebody and they cannot possibly defend themselves from it. And yet they use this study to give themselves a little bit more validity when this study is actually total bullshit because the study itself shows a defined limit, a defined maximum of 28 instead of the 25, but yet people don't use that shit. So, what I'm saying to you is stop giving a fuck what other people do and work on yourselves, bitches. It's getting fucking pathetic. Stop worrying about what other people are doing and do the best you can for what you can. If you want to use something, use something. If you don't, don't. Who the fuck cares? It's you. It's your fucking business. Who gives a fuck about what the next fucking dude is doing with his body? Worry about what the fuck you're doing with yours. Educate yourself. Lift heavy, lift often, live safe. And do you. Stop worrying about what these other fucking people are fucking saying. For real. Don't be ripped off by these fucking idiots that can't even read a goddamn study. Don't be sold a book of goods that they can't even back the fuck up. Bunch of fucking bitches. This is Alan Roberts. Every damn day fitness. Like and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram at Every Damn Day Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Every Damn Day Fit. I'm also on Facebook at Every Damn Day Fitness. God damn.